God be with all of us, I pray. May God be ministering to all of us as we turn to him. Dear God, I'm asking that you would bless us, each one, bring us further than where we are, minister to all of us, and we shall thank you for your promise that if we seek you, we will be blessed. Take us on into blessing. Minister to all of us. Dear God, I pray, help us in living to get closer to Thee. Granted, God, we shall thank you now. And uh, the phone number is 313-838-1035. And taking a call that is here. God bless, you're on the air. Hello, Pastor Bogle. Yes? I'm calling in for prayer. My name is Lily. Lily? Yeah, Lily, and I'm 89. And I was calling, you sound good, and... You sound like the younger Pastor Bogle. I've been listening to you ever since you come on the air. Once upon a time, you was on my theme station. But I'm calling for prayer tonight just for peace. Not in my home, but peace in me. Because I can't sleep. I toss and turn all during the night. And when I get ready to go to sleep, I can sleep. In the morning, when it gets like three, five, and six, and I can fall off to sleep. So I don't know what it is. But we should just say a word of prayer for me, and I will be praying for your right leg. I'm going to ask God that others would pray for you, too. Thank you. You, you are his daughter? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I've been his daughter ever since 1942. And your, give your age again. I want many to be praying for thee. 89. Dear God, that be with your daughter that has come this far. And as she has come to the age of 89, I ask that you would bless her exceedingly. Bring her on in her journey in a fresh, blessed manner. Minister to her, and she will thank you. Bring her further than where she is. Blessed exceedingly. Minister to all of us, and we shall thank you. Bring us further than where we are. In Jesus' name, I thank you that you have already said you love us because you're love, not because we deserve it. So thank you for loving us even when we shouldn't expect it, we would think. Take us further, and God, I'm thankful that you love the sinner. You love the backslider. You love those that are negative. 
but you are loving us in spite of it. Minister to all of us and bring us further in our day. Bring us further in this journey. In Jesus' name, granted God, I will thank you now. And uh, I want to give the phone number again, 313. How many calls do we have? Because we don't have any extra calls at all at this moment. Let me give that phone number again, 313-838-1035. And I thank the Lord that we have one call for this moment. May there be those of you that are praying that we could have more calls before, because before long we'll be entering the second half of prayer time. But thanking God for the call that's now, God bless you on the air. Hello, Pastor Bogle. Hello there, daughter of the Lord. How are you this great evening, or this great morning? Since I'm hearing you, I'm feeling better. Thank you. I have a question for you regarding marriage. And the question is, I, was, I have a, a little prayer meeting every Wednesday evening at my home. And tonight, someone was saying... When the word says, till death do us part, does that mean a physical death or can that also mean an emotional death, like the a death of a relationship? Because they were, we were, everybody was kind of arguing, the Bible doesn't say if it's a physical death or the death of a relationship because the people don't love each other anymore. Well, we know that things go wrong, but if we get closer to God, God can help us because the Bible tells us man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. And so trouble comes in living, but God is there to be a present help. Okay, so to, in answer to that question, is it, is it okay in God's eyes if people divorce because they fall out of love and they, they just can't make it anymore and it's basically the death of that relationship and not a physical death of their bodies? Are we supposed to stay with our partners no matter, well, of course, we're not going to stay in an abusive situation, but can it mean also a an emotional or a relationship death? Or in God's eyes, are we to stay with that one person, make an effort no matter what? The main thing is to know that man is born unto trouble. And so okay. we need to get closer to God and see what he can tell us when trouble has been so much about us. Right. Okay, thank you, Pastor Bogle. God bless you. Keep up the wonderful work. Good night. Dear God, be with this daughter of yours and be with all of us. And your word tells us that trouble comes in living 
but I'm so thankful that you have promised to be a present help in our time of trouble. Minister and bring us further in our journey. Help us in every bit of it, I pray. Bring us further doing your will. Help us in this moment, and we shall thank thee. Bring us further than where we are. In Jesus' name, I'm asking that we would be better at living, better at loving, better at serving thee, better in all of life. In Jesus' name, grant it, God, we're here to thank you now. Thank you for telling me that. And uh, we are close to the end of the first half of the prayer time. And uh, when we get into the second hour, we are going to need calls because we don't even have one for the second hour. And so I'm going to ask you that are close to the Lord to pray that the second hour can be blessed as it's a time of prayer. But taking the last call <laughs> for this hour, God bless you on the air. Didn't, don't we have a call? Y yes. Hello. Am I glad to hear your voice? Go right yes, ahead. Okay. Bless you, Pastor Vogel. I just want to have an A to Z prayer. And I don't believe really ask it over and over again. The Lord already knows what I pray. I just want to agree me on my prayer and to thank him for answering it. Because I know they're done from A to Z. Everything and the, everyone I pray for in Jesus' name. And uh, could you explain to the audience what A to Z means in prayer? means everything. Everything big or small, because that's what the Lord wants us to pray for. He asks for anything. It doesn't matter how small or how big, from A to Z. So that covers everything. Dear Father, be with this daughter of yours. And God, as she's able to have guidance from thee, let her be blessed to be able to have your blessing physically, mentally, spiritually, practically, A to Z. But not just her. May we all be blessed to have that kind of a blessing minister to all of us and we shall thank you bring us further than where we are in jesus name granted lord we're here to thank you now and it's time for